Welcome to the channel. In this video, we will see how we can download and install latest version of Python in Windows 11 operating system. With the latest version of uh, Windows 11 operating system, Microsoft is giving an option to install Python from the App Store. And because of that, they have added some shortcuts in the operating system related to Python and App Store. In this video, we will download and install Python from the official website. We will not be installing from the App Store. So first what we have to do is we have to remove the shortcuts that the Microsoft added related to Python and the App Store. So first we will click on the start button and we will type in CMD command prompt. We will open it up. And here we can type in Python and uh, if we hit the enter button here, then it will open up the Microsoft Store and it provides the option to install Python from the Microsoft Store. Now the reason why this Microsoft Store opened here is because of the shortcut that the Microsoft added related to Python and uh, Microsoft Store. Now we will close this and here we will type in Python space minus minus version and if we hit the enter button now it says Python was not found because Python is not installed in this computer and it says that you can run Python without the arguments to install it from the Microsoft Store which we have done right now you know when we type in only Python and when we hit the enter button it opens up the Microsoft App Store so that we can install Python and also here it says or disable the shortcut from settings manage app execution aliases so here what we do is we will disable the shortcut from this particular location and then we will install python from the official website so now we will close the command prompt so now what we do is we will disable the shortcuts that microsoft added related to python and uh, microsoft store so we will click on the start button and we will type manage app execution aliases and we can find this particular option if we click on that it opens up the settings and uh, app execution aliases and here we can find some shortcuts we are interested in this app installer python.exe and app installer python3.exe both are turned on we will uh, turn them off and after that we can close this uh, uh, settings window Okay, now what we have done is we have removed the shortcuts that the Microsoft has added related to Python and Microsoft Store. Now we will make sure that that removal was successful. We will click on the start button. We will type in CMD. We will open up the command prompt. We will type in Python. And if I hit the enter button, it says Python is not recognized as an internal or external command. It means that we have successfully removed the shortcuts that the Microsoft has added related to Python and uh, Microsoft Store. So now we can uh, download and install Python from the official website. So first we will open up any browser that is installed in our computer. I have uh, Microsoft Edge. I'm going to open it up and here I will type in google.com and I will open up the Google and here we will search for Python. And if we look at the search results, we can see a search result which says welcome to python.org, which is the official website and it is from python.org. We will click on this link and we will open up the website. Here in this website, we can find more information about Python. Now we will take the cursor to this downloads option and we can see an option called as download for windows. Now here we are browsing this website from the windows operating system and uh, this particular website automatically detects the website and it provides the download option that's why we can see download for windows option in here and it displays python and version number this version number will change depending on when you're watching this video now we will click on this and the download will begin we just have to wait for the download to finish now as you guys can see download is complete now here we can see an option called as open file if you click on this this uh, exe will be run or we can click on this another option called as show in folder uh, which will open up the folder where the downloaded file will be saved i'm going to do that uh, normally the downloaded files are saved in the downloads folder 
in order to install python we just have to double click on this file it will open up the python uh, setup the first and the important thing that we have to do is we have to check this checkbox which says add python.exe to path if you don't do this then uh, some applications will not work properly we can set this path manually if you want i can put up a video about that but instead of doing that manually we can check this option and everything will be done by this uh, setup so now after doing that we will click on this install now and if you have to provide the permission to install then click on s and provide the permission just wait for the uh, installation to finish okay now it says setup was successful we will uh, close this now i can close the folders and the browser that i have opened so now we have installed python first let us make sure that installation was successful we can click on the start button and we can type in or we can search for python and if we click on apps here then we can see python ideally and python shell uh, app so here if i open up the python ideally if i click on this ideally python it will open up python ideally and here we can start typing python code and uh, we can execute them for example here i'm going to say print and i'm going to say success and after that if i hit the enter button it says success so uh, python has been installed properly so now i'm going to close the ideally here now the next thing that we do right now is we have checked on an option called as add python to path we will make sure that that has been done successfully in order to check that we will click on the start button we will type in cmd and we will open up the command prompt and here we will type in python space minus minus version and if we hit the enter button then we can find the python version which is uh, which is 3.11.1 the version number can be different in your case but if you see python and some version number it means that uh, python has been installed successfully so this is it guys this is how we can download and install latest version of python in windows 11 operating system if you like the video hit the like button if you don't like it hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel